Oh, it's still... I didn't go to bed. I guess this will start with uh, sleeping. Nah, no alarm. Liam, what are you doing? Did Liam wake me up with... <laughs> He's getting revenge is what's going on. Yeah, we're gonna sleep here, Liam. Oh my gosh. Will Liam let me sleep? I think he's letting us sleep. Oh, thank goodness. Liam had mercy. You feel cruddy. Maybe you should consider eating a bit healthier. You know, we drank so much yesterday. <laughs> so <laughs> Just a lot of drinking. Ooh, everything looks so pretty. The game updated. Wow. Everything looks so nice. <laughs> Is this CGDA? <laughs> I think we do want to head down to the evacuee center, as far away as it is. And I know I said it was really bad, the uh, the distance, but it's not that bad. Like, it's pretty bad, but it's not... It's not abysmal. It's not an abysmally long and complicated drive. The only real issues, or the biggest issues rather, are right here, getting through Faison. But that's also, like, very clearly a later problem. And I don't think Quebec really cares about later problems. I think we're much more interested in what's going on in this New England church retreat. So, let's get started. Come on, Liam. Let's get out of here. Or actually, I guess, let me go do a bunch of work while you supervise. And then I think we're home free. So let's test to see if we can actually get the car out of here. Alright, come on. Teleport in, Liam. I just closed that door. Thank you. We're gonna go slow. A cool four mile per hour of driving. We are not quite going straight. The f Was that you? Did you just... You just, uh, did you just demolish our windshield? Oh my gosh. What are we crashing into? Ow, I missed one. Oh, did we? <laughs> the car has seen very much seen better days. Um, I think I can ask him to teach me. Oh, I'm not sure what I can teach you about, but okay. Don't sell yourself short. I need to know how to drive. He can teach me how to drive. He can actually just teach me. Do it. And that took like an hour or something. Yeah, I'm just going to repeat this for a minute. Oh, there's a time limit? Why? <sighs> Alright, whatever. Hop out. Anything interesting here? Or just a beat up car? Just a beat up car. Let's get our axe out. Yeah. Um, there's a zombie technician, which is to be expected, to be honest. Um, he's there. Another one. They're both kind of back there, but between me and Liam, honestly, a couple zombie technicians aren't really much of a threat. Steal all their medical supplies. And their duct tape. <laughs> Liam. <laughs> uh, I was just I was just looting the car, Liam. You don't have to uh you don't have to hop in. Can I? Ooh. 
Ooh, the low end cube van, I think, just became our new car. Now, I know I said I wouldn't ruin Quebec's, Quebec's look, but what if, but what if we were actually, like, protected from mortal danger? Did you think about that? I did. <laughs> See, look, this, is the, this looks just as good, right? <laughs> I can just order him to go find a horse somewhere. I'm worried he'll actually just run off and I'll never see him again. Yeah. Oh, cool. I can. Um, then in that case... Please also use... Those safety glasses. Look at us. Liam, are you are you still with me? There you are. Look at him. <laughs> We're both so safe. We're both so safety. And that zombie is doomed. Oh, I don't have my axe. Liam, save me. <laughs> um, hold on a second, Liam. I forgot something important. I'll pretend I helped. There's just some glass in the trash. Okay. Um, sure. Oh. Fungicide. Can I actually use that on the little the little fungal weirdos? I can eat it. I can just shove that in my mouth. Health. Health bad, I can imagine. I'll still take it. Um, hey Liam, I got a hard hat for you. Yeah. Hello! Now let's see if we can get Liam to help us on this. Nice. Um, anything cool? A mini lighter. Hmm. Now excuse me there, Liam. Let's see, where are those technicians? We don't see them. Where are they? They're here. Ah, there they are. They're not too smart. Nice. I think they changed the battery numbers because these used to be much bigger and now the numbers are much smaller. I'll take the battery anyway. Um. <laughs> this is an illustrated poster for a brand of solar car. The vehicle is driving through a lush countryside as small animals look on. The slogan, improving the world one tank at a time, is written across the top. Someone used a blue pen to write, who gives a shit, across the slogan, and put X's over the eyes of all the animals. <laughs> you know, the apocalypse really brings out the, uh, the mature side in everyone, I think. Okay, wait, I can just store pudding in here. I want a tank of pudding. I just want a massive, massive tank of pudding. Oh no, wait, I don't want to drop the axe. I guess I don't have space. Alright, Liam, hop in. You're actually not teleporting! Oh my gosh, Liam! Liam, I'm so proud of you? Are you the real Liam? Have you been replaced? Oh my gosh, it beeps. Very stealthy. <laughs> You wield my fire axe again. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of space in here. Hey, right, hop in. Hop in, bud. There we go. Man, if only Liam taught us how to drive. At least we're not driving his car. Do you think he's he's upset that we ditched his car? That a giant aphid smashed through the windshield while randomly jumping around. Okay. Speed is not your friend. This car is brand new. This car was brand new. Which means everything's We lost the seatbelt. <laughs> but I don't think we needed that anyway. Yeah, everything's fine. Everything's fine. The car has never been better. The budget cube van is in a great state.
Oh, is this our church retreat? There's a bunch of guys. Is this a cult? I don't want a cult. <laughs> no, I don't want to run into a cult. Bible study. Do you have a few minutes to talk about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Quebec certainly doesn't. Hello. I got my rights to be here, chum. Squatter's rights. I got here first, therefore. Are you in charge? Everyone here treating you fairly? They're nasty people letting us stay here and all. I got friends here and all. We may not be members, we belong here. We'll fight together if ever they... If they ever try to kick us out. Oh, so it's that kind of squatter's rights. I better get going. Yeah. Hi. I... Can I talk? There's a way to talk, like, across, um, thingamajiggers. Talk. NPC? Chat with NPC. Talk to you. The prophet? Uh-oh. Stranger, what brings you to our holy home? Who are you? I'm Helena, the caretaker of this flock. Who might you be, Wander? I'm just passing through. Just like all the sinners roaming through hell. <laughs> That went from 0 to 112. Um, what's your deal? Compound crossbow. Um, an urban black combat jacket full of religious iconography and nothing else. Nice. Can you tell me about the community? They denied us, labeled us a doomsday cult. Oh god. <laughs> labeled us a doomsday cult. Threw sticks and stones at us and yet we were standing resiliently. Why? Because we knew God was on our side. So, there's a prophet here. That's nice. Oh my gosh. Are you a ninja? <laughs> Wielding a scalpel. Hi. I don't think we've met before. My name's Jane. I'm the local doctor. Nice to meet you. Oh, this one's part of the cult. Nice to meet a... F oh, a fellow outsider. This one's not part of the cult. What do you like? You're a bit of a wimp. That's okay. You're a normal person. Wow. That's a specific trait that not everyone has. <laughs> Interesting. Um, could you provide any medical services? Just give me a minute. It costs three icons. They use icons as currency? Now that is interesting. Okay. Do you need anything? I really don't. Even my health is thankless. Oh, they can they pray anything away? Uh, I better get going. Hello? Hi, what is that? Is that a Nerf gun? A BB gun. And a rebreather mask. Okay, hi. What is, uh... Oh, a member. You must be new here. Nice to meet you. I know I'm not doing the voice anymore, but I only have so many Southern cult voices I can do, and I don't want them all to sound the same. Um... First of all, let me size you up. You're strong. Uh, wielding a machete. Ooh. And what are you like? Volatile Scrooge. Ooh. Uh oh. What do you do? Scavenge the land for herbs. One can only wonder what happened to its poor inhabitants. You know, the way you're talking, you almost sound like you're what happened to those inhabitants. You're being very ominous and vague in a slightly creepy way. Hello, are you the last person here? Um, the clergyman, Father Greenwood. The Lord be with you, sister. You seem nice. Nice to meet you. Welcome, and welcome aboard. Yeah, no, Quebec would never say that. <laughs> nice to meet you, Reverend. What can I do for you? Um, where am I? This is the New England Community Church. The congregation of it. Praise be the Lord that we made it through. Uh, can I do anything for your congregation? There's a fungus. Uh-oh. There's a fungus cult too. I need you to execute them and destroy all traces. Um, sure. Oh. <laughs> uh... Uh-huh. Mm. 
Is there more people? Oh my gosh, there's so many people here. We could get a ton of quests from these people. I may actually just grab quests from everyone real quick. So that was the, um... <clears throat> Sorry. So that was, uh, that was, that was the, uh, what was it called? The New England Church Retreat. Now we have, we have all of these lovely, lovely missions. Um, and there is one problem with all of them. There is no way on earth Quebec would willingly help out a community church. <laughs> That's gotta be like the third least punk rock thing I can think of. So, uh, you know, we've talked to all these people, we promised them, hey, yeah, we're gonna help you out, don't worry about it. Well, you just climbed right through the broken windshield, you gotta rub it in my face. And now we're just gonna leave! Uh-oh. Okay, and now we're just gonna leave. So, new target. The electrical thingamajigger. The electrical substation is our new current target. We see a couple zombie technicians, those are still no concern. Alright Liam, get your hatchet ready. We're about to do some, uh, some manual labor. Yeah, I know. I know. I know there's some zombie technicians here. They're a little slow. Let's let them, uh, let's let them break down the fence real quick. Eventually, after my ears die. Ow. One at a time, please. That works. Nice. Oh, a hacksaw. Now that is handy. Um, a metal file set. Yeah, we want you two. And a power drill. Um, that was a find on that technician. Anything else in the substation aside from the building? Nope. <laughs> Power drill, file set, heavy duty flashlights, and the hacksaw. Close her up, hop in, climb right over my mistakes, Liam. Come on. You can do it. No, no, no! It would seem I missed something obvious. That whole battery draining thing? Yeah. Turns out that meant the battery was draining. I... Th <sighs> uh... So we could just hike back to the sewer treatment plant and try to get our, get our old car. Or we could try to steal a bus from the, uh, from the New England church retreat. I guess we'll head south, um, to this little doohickey and see what's going on and hope they have a new car. Um, eat some food now, Liam. It'll be a while. <sighs> Into the woods. And I don't want to peep out of you, Liam. I don't want to hear a single peep. And are we getting close? No, it's just some random... Oh, oh, it's a mine. Okay, so mines have a couple things going for them. Number one, they've got a ton of fuel reserves, usually. Um, but they also usually have a lot of zombonies there. And yeah, see, already there's a whole squadron of them. So we are actually going to try to come at this from a different angle. 
Yeah, eight zombie miners. Look at them all. So yeah, we're going to try to come at this from maybe over here. The parking lot is over here too, so we can see if they've got any vehicles all at once um, before we even commit to slaughtering <laughs> uh, a lot of zombie miners. I don't see a single vehicle though. Not a single car. Yep. Wow, that's disappointing. Nothing but zombies here in this zombie apocalypse. What's up with that? All right, so I'm gonna put a note before I before I completely forget about where the car is. Um, note. Oh no, note. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, cool. So yeah, that's our cube van, and we're gonna I guess head to the moonshine still. And then finally hit up that rural church. It keeps dragging us back. We keep trying to get out, but it keeps pulling us right back in. And we're actually going to ignore all of those dangerous zombies. All 12 of them there at one moment. We had 12 on screen. Um, and now we're just gonna walk. Oh, right. We were going to the moonshine still. We, we ran right past it. Um, can't, can't miss out on that homemade low quality corn hooch. Ooh, a shovel. Now that would be something I'd put in the car. <laughs> Hello? Moonshine mash. A thermometer. Ooh. We will be taking that. Oh, and some sugar. Yeah, we'll take some sugar. Well, this place is boring. What a letdown. go to the weird mystery bridge yeah i knew it uh, this this um this generation is very reminiscent of a rural church i don't know why but they just like to appear at the end of um they love to appear at the end of long bridges to nowhere and i, and I could not tell you why quebec certainly doesn't know why i don't think she's been to church since uh since she moved out Ooh. Oh, the icons are literally from the New England Church uh, retreat. That's that's kind of interesting. They are the ones who distributed them everywhere. Now they want them back, really. Ooh, peanut butter and honey. Yum. Just the peach, the butcher's paper? No, 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 no. Some damned fool, I will fight you. Okay, good. You changed your mind at the end there. That was fighting words. We need a butcher kit. Um, butcher knife, carving knife. And then I think we need a cleaver. Let me double check. Yeah, we need one cleaver, one huge kitchen knife and one large kitchen knife <laughs> and the cleaver. And of course, no way we can leave this without And now we run away. Oh, the giant water scorpion hurt us. Okay. <laughs> Time to go. Uh, we actually don't have a lot of options, do we? <laughs> we could go crawling back to Liam's cabin. That'd be pretty pathetic. We might just have to straight up walk all the way back to the sewage treatment plant. Oh boy. Well... No time like the present to get going. Ooh. What poor unfortunate soul did we find here? An ankle sheath. Ooh, mine. And <laughs> oh, oh, I see. Uh, <laughs> I see. <laughs> What were you doing out here? <laughs> Two neckties, ooh. <laughs> um, yeah, I only touched it for a moment. One moment, one moment. Uh, left arm, uh, right arm. Yeah. We got a battery. Oh, who else was here? Oh, they were watching from the trees. That's a little... 
That's a little uncomfy. That's a little uncomfy. Liam, don't say a word, and I won't say a word, okay? And here is our beautiful, beautiful abandoned car. I'm sorry for ditching your car, Liam. I bet you're really, really pleased that we came back here. I bet you're, you're yucking up a storm. Talking about how your car lasts through anything. Oh, we're gonna have to drive past the Mego again. Back at the poor, poor abandoned car. And now we get to move everything back. I have just received information from, uh, also if you're curious about timelines, um, this, I, I read, I just read the comments. Um, so apparently there's some kind of trust mechanic for Liam. Liam, do you trust me? I need to know this. I'd like your opinion of the job. What's eating you? Um, oh, Liam, I can ask Liam what to do. I can put some decision making on him. All right, Liam, let's see. Do you have an opinion about anything? Sweet road trip. It sounds as good as any plan, my friend. <laughs> gives me gives me some first season Walking Dead vibes, you know? Maybe the place will be run by a sinister G-man or a lone crazy scientist who thinks he can cure zombies if he can just get his hands on a super rare ingredient. Road trip. Cool. <laughs> I guess um I guess we're going on a road trip. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, oh, check opinion. Oh. He doesn't fear me. No, he does fear me. Doesn't trust me at all. Doesn't care about me. <laughs> doesn't really have any strong feelings towards me whatsoever. Oh my gosh. Are you sure we're friends, Liam? <laughs> How do I... Just want to talk. I can give him a high five. <laughs> Nod and can nod, nod. Yep, yeah. <laughs> that's all that needed to be said. I guess let's get driving again. Liam in the back seat, <laughs> Quebec. Oh, wrong one. Oh, Quebec uh, being in charge once more. Turn. No, thank you. Oh God. Oh God. Please stop. <laughs> Safety third. Oh, I took a wrong turn. <laughs> but maybe we found a new vehicle. This is vehicle number what, number three? <laughs> how many cars will Quebec crash before she learns how to drive? It's on? Who is here? Actually, if I stop driving. Is the battery still draining? It is. Okay, so this car is no good. It's just, it's downright no good. Um, yeah. We already have a map. No need to smash another one. We're punk rock. We're not to delinquent, you know. No need to break random things. Besides, you know, hiking has its own kind of, like, punk appeal. Ties into the hippie crowd, right? You know, maybe we'll find someone who's actually cool at the Survivor Center. I mean, I guess Liam, Liam gave that high five, so he's... Oh my, <laughs> my heart palpitation started up there when we started getting close to that shack. Um, you know, Liam's alright, right? But uh, I wouldn't call him cool. Oh, I guess we crashed. No, what did we hit? What are we hitting? Oh, there's a single rock. Liam, your car, your car was basically broken when we got in. There's the mine. Oh, is that? 
That is a cabin. Let's see what's going on over there. What did we just hit? What is that? Was that a single piece of grass? Did we run into a piece of grass and all of our windows fell out? That's powerful grass. Um, what are you? You're just a... A naked person with a scarf on. Not even a underwear bottom. Wow. <laughs> Someone was up to some... I don't know. Is fun the right word when you're found dead in a sand pit? <laughs> Probably not. Someone was up to something. Didn't go well for him. Are we gonna hit a tree? No. We're coming up in the cabin. Oh, it looks... God damn it. Alright, Liam. Found the weird thing in the woods. Someone who actually knows how to build a survival cabin. They've got a water supply and everything. And it's actually in the woods. Look at it. In the middle of nowhere. Safe. Oh. Missed one. And <laughs> stocked with an, like, I don't know, Liam. I don't know what to tell you. Um, the chest guard we could give to Liam. Hey, Liam. The hard chest guard. Cool. And then let's give you another high five. <laughs> Oh, with a flourish. Nice, nice, nice. At least we have high fives. At least we have high fives. We have some communication going on with Liam. Take the chemicals. Uh, the pickles will last forever in the apocalypse. A single crab cake. I'm gonna eat a single crab cake. And then let's throw down... <laughs> Let's throw down. Quebec is always looking to throw down. Uh, excuse you. And now, we go going again. <laughs> it's fine, Liam. Should have taught me how to drive before you put me in your car. Let's see, maybe they've got to replace my car. <laughs> Oh, but I don't want to change vehicles again. They've got a truck. Um, only one zombie miner, actually. Oh, there, there they are. <laughs> There's the rest of them. Road trip. Are you happy? Hope so. Oh, holy shit. We got a vehicle skill? But we still don't know how to drive? Quebec has three levels in vehicles. And she doesn't know how to drive. <laughs> Land vehicles in general, she doesn't know how to drive. What vehicles has she been flying? <laughs> flying. I guess she is a pilot? I don't know, man. Golf carts? That's a land vehicle. Maybe she's really good at boats. Ignore that. Oh, look at that. That is a rural house. Oh, and that looks like there's a bandit camp down here. I can't make out what it is, but based on the location, probably a bandit camp. Um, I think we're probably going to stop for the night here, so that way we can um, get prepared to head out through Faiston. What is that? Oh no, there's ants here? Oh no. Um, where are they all? Where's the ant hill? Oh, it's over there. Okay, we can't spend the night here. Ants are no joke. They are no joke. You think the bugs are just bugs until they spit acid through your window, you know? Alright, Liam. New house. Another house that's a better place to stay than, uh, your safe house. Are you noticing a theme, Liam? Oh my gosh. Okay, hey Liam. Um Hmm. Yeah. Um we're going to wield our pistol. Hmm. 
and see if we can spot that guy. <sighs> All right. It's a tough zombie northwest, closer than I'd like. Yeah. Why am I not wielding my gun? Oh, I'm wielding a magazine? Quebec. Quebec. Quebec's so nervous. She's just grabbing magazines. You got this, Liam. I'll support you from afar. Hey, okay. Hey, how are you doing, buddy? Examine wounds. You're okay. Wow, you took that like a champ, my guy. I'm gonna give you a modicum of respect for that. Pots. Meat cleaver? Cleavers? No cleavers? My butcher kit will have to wait. Oh, no, wait. Do we have a cleaver? A meat cleaver. Nice. Our butcher kit is gonna be good to go. Our newfound friendship. Let's make sure we're still friends. One moment. I, ju I just, I just want to talk to you, my guy. How about a high five? <laughs> high fives you back enthusiastically. What do you think of me? <laughs> you, you just like high fives. You still don't care about me at all. Wow. We're great friends, aren't we? <laughs> we have an understanding. Uh, <laughs> let's put down our meat cleaver and all our other garbage. Um, butcher? Cool, now we got our butchery kit. So we can't sleep here because it's full of ants. We could, I guess, go further down here and hope we find something. Maybe over here and find something. We can't sleep in town. <laughs> we could sleep in the car, but, uh, we're missing a few pieces. On the road again. Road trip, Liam, as you say. <laughs> Shit. Ignore that. Um, we're gonna go past the fungal zone. And, uh, we've, we've heard about those already. Don't want n <laughs> we do not want to join the blissful hegemony. No, thank you. What could be less punk than, like, hegemony, you know? Total conformity within a single organism. That's got to be, like, the least punk thing on Earth. Complete loss of individuality. Yeah, no thank you. No thank you. Not in my apocalypse. What is this? I'm not even seeing any zombies here. What? What is this? Did we luck out? And if so, how much? Alright, right. Let's see what we got here. I'm not wielding an axe. Uh, where's my axe? Wield. Axe. Give to me. Oh, those are landmines again. <laughs> I, oh, we're actually parked in the minefield. Okay. Liam, watch where you step, will ya? Okay? My god. That was almost Quebec's life. <laughs> Alright, um... Put it in reverse. Were we actually parked on a mine? Were we parked on that mine right there? Let's get out. <laughs> Don't think about it, Liam. All right, what's this car looking like? It's got fuel. A mountain machine gun? Okay. I mean, and it's got more fuel. I don't think we can say no to this. Grab all the magazines while we're here. Maybe we can get more ammunition out of this one. Um, where's that machine gun? Can I, can I remove the heavy mounted M20 machine gun? Oh, I need mechanics and rifles. Ugh. Can I operate it? How do I use the machine gun? 
Oh my gosh, it turned on. Wait, it's an auto turret? I can just, oh my gosh. Oh, Liam, we are in the fucking business. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Can I? Holy shit. Oh, that was probably loud. Anyone nearby? Oh, we're deaf. <laughs> I don't even care. Oh, a mansion? And a rural house. Oh my gosh. This is good. This is good. This is good. So I guess we'll take that jerry can, throw it in here. Um, and yeah, I will now spend... Oi! 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 No, you don't get to drive this one! Get out! Get out! I drive the car. You make me drive your car without license? I will drive... <laughs> I will drive the, uh, the armored vehicle. Wow. <laughs> wow is all I can say right now. Just wow. Um, yeah, well, let's move this car out of the way. It just killed the tree. The tree was annihilated. Uh, let's not damage it anymore, though. That was, that was a test, Liam. That was intentional. That was not my driving skills coming to haunt us again. You didn't close... <sighs> He's still Liam at the end of the day. Cool, so now, the joys, the eternal fun, of storage management. And let's just dump everything in the same uh, location. It's good for crafting. Makes it easier to find everything if you don't have to look. Um, wield. I don't want to pick up. There we go. Any useful bits of steel? Nah. Alright. Alright, Liam. You excited? Are you excited as I am? Oh my god. I told- I'm the dry- I- S Smashing the car in a pure rage. Okay, actually, what is the engine quality? I should have checked that. Is that a stented? Alternator engine. The engine is mostly fine. No, you can't do this to me. I blame you, Liam. This is your fault. The battery just entirely died. Where did it go? What did you do, Liam? You were at the controls for two seconds. Okay. <laughs> I swear, if we have to end up taking the stupid hatchback again, I am going to throw Liam off the bridge. And he can he can swim. He can swim to the refugee center. He can take the road trip all on his own. We have a Humvee, Liam. Don't don't fuck this one up. Okay? Okay. Cool, we're also gonna remember vehicle position. Um, and now, for once again, most exciting thing on earth. Inventory management, woo! You know, I like to imagine that uh, Liam is just watching Quebec move everything. Literally cannot comprehend the idea of helping or doing anything useful besides ruining the Humvee. Liam's in the car. <laughs> I bet he's in the driver's seat. He better not. <sighs> he better not. He better not. He better not ruin the Humvee. Please. Now Liam's sitting in the driver's seat, just looking backwards, dead-eyed fish once again, staring directly at Quebec as she slowly loads. All, uh, what is this? All 300 liters, or 250 liters. 
over 350 pounds of supplies into the, uh, into a truck. Liam just watches. Liam just watches the whole thing. Wondering what's taking her so long. Oh. Hop in. There you go. And let's not crash into anything. Please. We have a Humvee with the automatic turret. We can't lose this. This is so good. There's the mansion. Okay, that's a lot of zombies. But we can deal with that. Cool. Now we hop out. Stop driving. Get ready for war, Liam. Oh, they're all chasing it. Okay, that's actually too many. I don't want to use a gun because we might aggro the whole mansion. Well, I guess let's stand here and wait. Okay, we actually have to... Okay. Liam, run. We need to we need to separate this out. That's too many. Okay. Come follow me, Liam. Okay, this is this this will be doable. Gosh dang it, Liam, you ruined it. Oh my god, okay. Mm. Did we live? <laughs> Tactics are not a thing Liam can do. Um not a thing I can do either. We're not infected. Is Liam infected? He is. Beat you up? How slow are we actually? Oh, I don't have painkillers or medical things? I am so unprepared. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, you have money. $300. They're hitting our car. Okay. Alright. It's getting worse. It's still dealable. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, we're weary. Why are you breathing directly into my ears? Get out. Get out. Okay. Um, alright, time for medical. Slam down a couple of acetaminophens. Uh, antiseptic on two wounds. Actually, three wounds, yeah, and then we'll bandage all of them. Right, so I go here, use item on. I know I already worked this out, but goldfish memory. Um, it doesn't show me which one is infected. That's unfortunate. Uh, examine wounds, nope. E, nope, I did it again, W. On the right leg, okay. Uh, use item on, use antiseptic on the right leg. And now your wounds are still mm, no good. Hopefully, eventually I can. Yay! Yeah, 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 there we go. Okay. He's disinfected. Um, now I'm going to use three bandages on him. No, I I cleaned it. It's still not. Let's wait a minute to see if it updates. I hope I can clean his bite wound. It says it's fine. Um, did I get it? Oh, it's the left leg? I thought it was the right leg. Am I- am I stupid? He's like so much antiseptic. <laughs> uh, wounds? No, the left leg is- okay. Hey, Liam. 
I'm not that good of a doctor. Uh, Liam? Um, uh oh. We might have a problem. Attempting to eat antiseptic? Excuse me. Liam, please, please don't. I know I talk a lot of shit about you, but... Ow, left leg? Uh-oh. 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 So much antiseptic. His leg is just coated in antiseptic. This is bad. This is bad, Liam. Um, can I practice my medical skill? Can I level up wound care anywhere? I guess let's do this. Uh, put it down and start working. Um, health care is increased to start practicing, yes. And maybe this? Um, Liam, please don't die. Uh, wounds? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Um, I'll use another four. And then, if that doesn't work, I'll raise my magical skill again. Um, please, Liam. Please. Oh no. <laughs> uh, two more and then I'll try to up my magical skill again. Oh no. Yeah, it's just straight up not healing. Okay, I need to talk to you, Liam. Things aren't looking good. <laughs> Things aren't looking good, Liam. Can I tell you to use antiseptic? Or are you just gonna wield it? I know I don't I don't want you to kill zombies with the antiseptic, Liam. Uh Can you teach me anything? No, okay. Okay. Let's go. I need you to understand something, Liam. It's not looking good for you. Okay, my health care is not going to get above one. I use item on. Liam, get better soon. Something might be glitched. Like, I'm honestly... No, yes! Liam! Liam, you're gonna live! Liam, are you happy? Liam, you're not gonna die! <laughs> I can't I don't even think I can breathe in this stupid car. It's so full of the fumes of denatured alcohol. There's a puddle of it on the floor. <laughs> Liam, it feels good having room to move again. No fucking doubt. Holy shit. Cool, do that. And again, I'm going to grab our butchery kit. And we are actually going to learn about some zombie anatomy. Exciting. Quebec has been looking at these things. Just like sort of frowning. And uh, you know, oh, actually first let's uh, let's haul this corpse into somewhere a little more private. Let's see what makes these zombies tick. What are they like? What are they made of? Cool. And now we can very slowly get our um, where is that? Where is it? Where is it? Principles of biology. We can very slowly get this, uh, get to the gross anatomy. Why is it gross anatomy specifically? What's the difference between principles of biology and gross anatomy? <laughs> I guess we're learning about gross anatomy. Bunch of gross stuff. I guess that works. Um, let's dissect another corpse. That's morbid, but you know, it's the apocalypse. Cool. You are now proficient in gross anatomy. 
What is gross anatomy? You've identified key organs. With the goal of attacking them in combat. Oh. Well, cool. That's applied science. I guess it is. Liam. I just wanted to talk. I just wanted to chat, you know, to relax. I slept weird last night. Got this awful crick in my neck. You know, let's let's directly confront him about the fact that he literally, like, does not think anything about us. Neither positive nor negative. Might as well be, like, a chair. Of course we're friends. You're always you and I'm always me. We've been through worse. Okay, maybe we haven't been through worse. <laughs> but we've stuck through it. Yeah. So what's a little apocalypse gonna change? Or a little mutation, or creepiest bodily harm, or zombies, or interdimensional monster attacks, or seriously life-altering PTSD, or whatever? Who cares? Your family. We're family. Liam is full of shit. New day. Ah, uh, new page. Man, we killed a lot of zombies today. Got a lot of uh, missions. Fungus among us. <laughs> Uh, three new proficiencies, including gross anatomy. Applied science, we lost a level? Skill decay. And tailoring. Well, we haven't been doing much of that, have we? To an elf care, mostly trying to fix Liam. Um, we lost athletics, apparently. Gained the vehicle and gained the marksmanship. Dear. Dear journey. Uh, today was much better. Cool. And then that's the uh, that's the end of the day. I guess the end of the episode too. Uh, bye. <laughs> I like to imagine he's just standing next to the bed, watching. <laughs>